Hello and welcome to Facecheck. You're joining me for a quick game on Junteki.net. Here I'm going to play a most wanted legal, um, most wanted list legal MWLs, an annoying acronym, uh, initialism. In fact, uh, the difference between an acronym and an initialism is an acronym uh, you say is a word, so um, something like. Mm, can't think of anything. LOL. There you go. So laugh out loud. LOL is an acronym. Whereas uh, something like RSVP is a, an initialism, something that's known by its initials. Uh, all very interesting, I'm sure. Uh, but back to the topic in hand. Uh, I am playing a most wanted list legal Quetzal deck. Now this deck was formed, um, or the, the bones of it was formed from one of the previous week's uh, most popular deck lists on Netrunner DB. Uh, it was the first one that really kind of got slated by, oh, I can't remember the name of the fella's blog um, for being a terrible deck. And he, he was right enough, it was quite a bad deck. Um, could have been more constructive with his criticism, but regardless, uh, you know, that was out there. Um, but I kind of like the idea. I like the idea of uh, using Always Be Running. To uh, in conjunction with Quetzal's ability to break a barrier subroutine uh, once per turn, so always be running, break one subroutine. Uh, E3 feedback's good in Quetzal anyway for getting through multi sub barriers. Uh, but I wanted to take that a little further and see how far I can get without any breakers, really, uh, but still be able to get through multiple pieces of ice. So, security nexus, uh, big splash, you know, three influence, eight cost. Um, to, to be able to uh, bypass a, a currently encountered piece of ice uh, and rabbit hole to boost up the um, link value of Quetzal who starts on none uh, so 0 to 4 with 3 rabbit holes and 1 security nexus didn't feel it was worth splashing any uh, access to global sex or anything else that boosts link in there um, perfectly fine as was then used the fact that I wasn't going to install a lot of programs to take advantage of data folding have some money then the, the link get underworld contacts um, but some of the things the deck was missing in the first instance was also money so liberated account as well in there and uh, you see I've actually gone the two sure gambles uh, and one stim hack I might actually just swap that just now uh, stim hack has not been particularly useful for me um, let me take that out and put sure gamble in saved uh, then the idea being that you install uh, as many mediums as you can and then just hammer R&D as hard as you can um, dirty laundry to help you pick up a bit of money as you're running uh, and then the cutlery events to, to get rid of the ice that's on there so forked knifed and spooned cracking for when you find uh, an agenda also let you get rid of them from uh, a remote at the same time uh, just keep the pressure on make sure they don't feel safe then one emulation script was packing two might go back to two uh, play around a little bit with kind of what I've got um, Orion 46 cards just seeing what I want to cut then at some point you probably are going to have to to use a breaker Faust is the one that you need there to, to get in and Mimic just lets you deal with things like Architect that's on R&D that you can't get rid of uh, you see I'm still splashing two parasites, um, very handy for quandaries, pop-up windows, um, things that, you know even up to two, possibly even three strength ice. Um, you don't want to be wasting your cutlery events on those, so a couple of parasites is quite useful. Plus you can always deja vu for them back if, that's, if they're running like a weenie deck um, to get through there and then draw but a fair amount of draw and if I'd worse it's your only protection from uh, plascrete and such like beyond having four link to start with and uh, inject as well only running seven programs means that you're very unlikely to bin them and you can get everything except Faust and Mimic back using Deja Vu so the three mediums are your, your two parasites so let's give it a go um, had mixed success with the deck it's still not particularly great but we will see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to play a runner game here. Oh, wait, hold on, let me cancel that and restart with uh, being recorded. Uh, always best to let people know. So, new game uh, runner, allow spectators, face checks game recorded. Now we are on 
89 games at the moment on Junteki.net, which is kind of where it starts to struggle. Game might be a little bit slow, might not be worth recording, but you won't know until you try. See quite a lot of my decks are tournament valid there. I have made a few tweaks uh, to make sure they are most wanted list legal, uh, but a fair number of decks actually weren't affected too badly, so very little changes uh, need to be made. So, fingers crossed, here we go, we'll get somebody to, to join us for a game, and then we will see how the deck performs. So let me just confirm that this person is okay to be recorded. Uh, yep, exactly. Uh, to put on my YouTube channel. Uh, oh, God, not a fan. Oh, God. Okay, so he seems to be okay with that. He or she, I don't know. Um, and we will start the game. Okay, Argus. So Argus is a problem for a medium deck. Um, we'll see how that goes. Looking at my opening hand... This is not a lot of what I want. Uh, yeah, good luck to you too. And I will mulligan that and hope for anything uh, better. This isn't so bad. Sure gamble and deliberate it. Take some money and draw. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will draw, sure gamble, liberate it, take money. Seems like the better idea. I have to be careful not to get too many agendas at once uh, until it is the winning turn. Now, always best to draw first to see what you get. So if I yeah do this, do this, and also drop this. So this will get me maximum value out of the data folding. Sure, I go down to zero credits. But I've not made a run, so I'm not in a massive risk of being uh, sea sourced or, or any of the bad events that you normally require some sort of run to have happened. Um, and then I'll be able to take the money next time. So I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take some money. I'm gonna run that remote. I'm hoping it is a barrier, but not a multi sub barrier. Uh, perhaps he's just forgotten that I'm quite so uh, let me through could be a snare. I'm okay with that I think. Uh, public support, yeah let's get rid of you and then draw and then I'll draw again. I can always take money next turn, so that's fine. And their public support's a bit of a credit drain. I can't let him have it because he can raise his archers much more easily. Um, and it's not something you want to be dealing with as an archer. Digging through. Uh, Argus decks tend to be Argus Rush. Uh, you know they're going to be operating pretty quickly. Uh, so once they start dropping things you're not going to have much of a chance so let's do that let's run hq let's see if any's in hand is one in three if there is um again just looking for them to try and start raising stuff so i know what i need to break um interesting so that's going to be a fairly big trace okay so yeah trace mate um, I do not want 3 net damage, so I'll pay the full 5. Now, later on in the game, that ice is going to be pretty useless. Um, because I'll have 4 link uh, and be able to get through it pretty quickly. I have no programs to trash, so that doesn't make any odds to me. Does suggest he's got some in hand, though. He does have Scorched Earth. Okay, that's not good for me. If I take you and... I'll just take the money this turn and then next turn I'll run on R&D see what it is and I'll have to start digging through my cards more oh interesting very very annoying more than anything so he should let me through R&D I guess because he's not going to raise anything here I'll steal that. I will take one tag. Then I'll tell you what, let's run server one. If I get that as well, then I'll just remove tag, remove tag, and hope not to die. Uh, sure, let's jack out of there. Let's remove the tag because we know he's got scorched earth. And finally, not really getting set up here. 
But with brush decks, uh, this deck's a little less efficient. Uh, he could very possibly just mill me out. Okay. Oh no, he scores it. Yeah, I mean, like, there wasn't a lot I could do. He might have been better off leaving that there. Um, so I'm going to draw. Then I'm going to dirty laundry r and I'm thinking I can still get in. Could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know what the ice is, but um, he's certainly not willing to res it. Housekeeping, that could prove slightly annoying. Let's take some money. Take some money. Oh, no, the lag. I thought I had one click left. I was looking here. Because um, otherwise I would have put the parasite and spider web to start eating away at his defenses. Now he's drawn into housekeeping. Another parasite. So draw, draw. I'm going to parasite here. And I'm going to. I can't run last click against Argus. Um, so I will just keep moneying up. If I can stay ahead of money, I don't need to worry too much about a sea source uh, scorch. Uh, and I don't have to worry too much about mid seasons either. Yeah, so housekeeping's a, a bit of a pain, but I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm going to run on HQ and see if I can, uh, not HQ, R&D, and see if I can get uh, an agenda to get rid of this. Ooh, I wonder why I didn't raise that before. He only had two credits, no, four credits last time. Okay. Uh, yeah, fires, I'll just do it myself. Yeah. That's a run it ended there. And last click, um, nothing I can do last click, so I just take money. Okay, so I need to go fishing, really. I need Spooned and Always Be Running, or, or Faust, perhaps. Um, what could that be? Well, it can't be a snare, that's going to go. Could be an Enigma. Right, let's draw Gamble. He's only got three credits. There's not a lot you can res with three credits. Well, Gamble's not worked there, but I've got enough money. Fine. Let's actually do the run first. I've expensed three to res it. Fine. Uh, he must have known I could get in. Yeah, I'll trash that. Uh, Gamble and do -do -do -do, just gain a credit. Uh, yeah, really got none in my rig. Why am I not dropping Parasite on the Enigma? Uh, moron, absolute moron. <laughs> um, yeah, it could have been gone in like two turns. Okay, fine. Not oh yeah, because I'll have to bin something. Um, I'll probably bin Underworld Contacts in that instance. Right, so agenda's probably building up in hand. Um, let's draw Dirty Laundry. I mean, I thought I may have, maybe should have got rid of Dirty Laundry. It's only a three credit swing. Once I'm set up, I'm sure Underworld Contacts will get me more than that, but let's just keep the pressure on. So let's put Parasite on there and bin you, and then let's start drawing up. That's pretty good. If I can find a an agenda, um, then I can start. I keep putting the pressure on. Um, don't know what that is. Do I pick that server? Do I pick, oh. Interesting. So you install that. Credit, credit maybe. Uh, I'm going to have to run here just to try and make him waste his credits and, and um, not be able to score an agenda next turn. If it is a two cost piece of ice or a three cost piece of ice, you'll still be fine. Let's draw. Okay, well, let's run server one. I'm getting a lot of my money, but not a lot of my cards. Not the most useful. Um, Archer is a little bit of a waste there, but sure, it fires. So he gets two back. Uh, trashes Parasite, which is okay, I guess. Uh, keeps his ice alive a little longer. 
um, and then I will draw and run on archives and okay so inject's going to help me get set up here what did he manage to bin anyway so that's a problem ish um, but nothing else really and get a deja vu I can bring back both parasites if it comes to it um, the way I'm oh, tech startup okay search our different asset reveal and install it what's it going to be Melange she's going to click for cash that's pretty good okay well, I don't seem to have been I've lost any critical pieces so that is a bonus um, let me see if I can find the setup that I want uh, the answer is no so let's drop you I don't particularly want to waste anything he's probably got caduceus so let me lose I don't want to lose any of these to be honest I'll lose a spoon is it only the first one yeah, so let's just install Mimic while the installing is good and gain a credit. Okay, um, housekeeping probably going to do a bit of work for him here. Maybe I should have a run on archives to see what's in it. Spiderweb, uh, nothing of consequence really. He's going to just click take money. He wants to be in a position to kill me when he can. Um, as I said, with these rush decks I've not found anything quickly so it's a problem for me Kraken's not the best anymore so if I were to I should have injected there I don't know why I didn't um, so I don't want to inject now if I install this what will I get rid of probably you so let's install yes you done uh, gain credit draw I'm getting set up but at a cost um, and still absolutely no way of dealing with anything that's been put down so not a good match for me right, let's inject gamble I can always be running to trash this and then I can drop you and now we can start getting somewhere I know we're useful but somewhere I have lost a spoon I have lost a spoon um, I guess I should make a plate for the oh the land is gone install advance advance Okay, let's uh, click one, make a run on that. It could well be Shattered Remains, which uh, worries me a little, but I can't assume that it is. So click one run here. Let's see what your res is. I can bust it regardless. Heimdall, Heimdall, Heimdall. I'm going to... Can I let him score it is the thing. Um alright, quite so bust, bust, and then let's continue. And I'm gonna wipe out that remote next turn. And I'm gonna one, two, one, two, three. So if it is shattered remains, it makes me very sad, but such is life. And then next turn I can knife it, forked it, and then he will be a sad puppy. So get in and steal an atlas, yes. So that is very handy. I'll take one tag and then I'll use my last click to remove that tag. Because remember he does still have scorched in hand. Oh, right. It's coming together. It's starting to come together. Kind of. Um... He's done 24 cards, so he's about halfway through. Ah, that's annoying. It's 
more annoying than he knows, I think. Okay, so I can't risk one of these events on it, so I'm going to have to run server 1. See what he does. If he doesn't raise anything, I'll just jack out. Now, always be running is a massive uh, handicap. Um, unless you're properly set up for it. So I could, and I will, deja vu for a parasite and a parasite. Then I will install a parasite on here and end my turn. So once Enigma goes, that'll leave R&D vulnerable again. But I still want to be getting more and more set up. I wonder what this could be. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to knife this remote anyway. Because I can always always be running through this E3, Quetzal E3 to get rid of Heimdall. And that'll make things a little easier for me later. And then... Hopefully I'll res that so I can see what it is, and then I'll work on getting rid of it as well. So I'm four points up at this stage, that's not too bad. Right, so let's knife to server one. Now I'd like to save more of these as a uh, surprise, but can't really. I need to make sure that I'm able to get in and get the agendas. Uh, <laughs> that makes me sad, but let's bust that. Very well played. Now I'll jack out. No point continuing. And let's draw, draw. Ooh, got a spooned. Let's just gain a credit. Um, now I know he is trying to kill me, and this is my only scorch protection. Do I keep it in hand, or do I use it to accelerate my my draw here? and try and just continue to outpace them. If I can get more economy cards down, I'm in a not bad position. Uh, I am going to fork the archer this time though. Um, it's just a little bit of a shame that I was unable to kill Heimdall last time. So I can still do that to subroutines, three subroutines, and then continue. And then I can always be running two subroutines, three subroutines, four subroutines to trash that. And then even if it's a Jackson or something, I'm not too worried. Make him use them. Actually, what is his influence spent on? No influence so far. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? I mean, ordinarily, uh, the technique for this deck is to hammer R&D to get the, the accesses. Um, yes, I will. Well, that's fine. Uh, and then I will draw. I'm still out money in them, but only just. This will help. Um, and again, I don't want to risk getting rid of... I've had worse at this stage, I don't think. Um, yeah, what could his influence be on? Mid seasons? Ah, oh, I don't know. Oh, he's going to start milling more of my cards. That's annoying. Um, well, I'll have to run, so I might as well go get that agenda, I suppose. Nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, I mean, that seems silly putting it out now. Oh, I could take a tag, and then I wouldn't have the chance to clear it. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Hmm. That is a very, very strong move. Alright, let's jack out. Let's run instead R&D. In an ideal world, I will... Wait, I would still have a tag to clear it, because I don't need to bust that, do I? Ugh, that was a stupid move. I could have out-traced them. Um, let me just gain a credit in the meantime, and I'll go get it next time because I'm a moron. I, I presume he's going to score it, and that'll turn on another archer, which will just make my life a lot more difficult. I should have just taken the tag, beat the trace, got through here, cleared the tag, cleared the tag. I'd have been quite poor, but uh, 
probably better than losing a whole bunch of um, cards. Although he's not advancing, so this time I'm going to go. I'm going to remedy my mistake. I'm going to run server one. If he's put a small, even if he's put ice wall there, that's annoying for me. Yeah. All right, I'm going to jack out of there. But he spent all his money, so let's run on R and D and see what we can find. Maybe we should have drawn first, see if I could find a medium. Ideally, top deck, top deck. One, yeah, okay. I'll go again. Might be that I need to rely on a, a semi mill strategy here to win. Uh, yes, I will. Alright, he's getting rid of all my money. Let's uh, put a parasite on there and start working at them. Now, whether or not he's going to start milling me or just going to leave it there taunting me, I don't know. He's probably got a handful of agendas at this point. A uh, bunch of one and two pointers. Um, I'm picking up three credits a turn. Oh, he's just straight up overwritten it. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's relatively safe, I guess. Um, I'm going to... Well, I have to run, so let's run R&D. I mean, now that I know that that's there, that's particularly handy for me. I'll get it cracking that remote next time. And then get through with whatever's left. You mu must literally just have a handful of... Uh, agendas at this point. So I'm going to draw, draw, well, there's my Scorch Protection, oh there's my Scorch protect. the Scorch Protection and I will gain a credit. Okay so that spider wall will go away next time unless he purges, if he wants to purge that's fine, I can I can let him waste that time. Money, money, yeah so score that, great, that's gone. There's one there, ready, what's his influence on? Data Raven, is that it? Oh, I don't know, worries me, worries me a lot. Um, let me... Well, I might as well run archives to get the point. Take a tag, crack in, remove the tag. Uh, yeah, I'll steal that, I'll take one tag thing. Ah, I could take two meat damage. No, I'll just take a tag. Too dangerous. Let's crack in server one. Let's see what it gets rid of. And you'll probably choose to get rid of the hind though. Um, but either way, I'm okay with that. And if I just stop me, stop it being difficult for getting in. So I'll just wait and see what he chooses before I decide what to do. Well, I'm going to remove a tag anyway. Um, Cannot afford to leave it sitting. Although if he scorches me, <laughs> I'll get to draw through the rest of my deck. Um, no real recursion there. So let's remove the tag and let me draw a card. Now it would appear that all three mediums are in the bottom nine cards of my deck. Unless when I was editing there, <laughs> the uh, mediums came out. But... Um, I wouldn't have thought so, so start. Um, right, I'm going to draw. Alright, so let's. Oops. Can't do that. Again, that's the downside of always be running. You have to run first click, and it is a massive pain in the coupon. Successful run, data raven. Problematic. Um, so let's draw again. And then, which is my first legal draw. So, if that was in the tournament, for example, and I'd drawn a card and I had to run, then my first click would have to be to draw. Right? So I couldn't run and then change my opinion based on that. Um, but let's do this. And let's trash spooned. 
and let's do this for money and he's going to be very very hard pressed to score out five points before I can get them um, probably money up take some uh, credits there try and protect things a little and nine credits nine credits is around about the danger zone uh, a lot of things you can do there but let's just start getting a few tokens on this medium and just try and close out the game so this was a pretty bad start for me I wasn't uh, confident at all of winning now this is currently a code gate uh, that's fine fires literally don't care <laughs> Uh, what program I'm not going to be able to use? Medium, I suppose. Now, does getting a token on it count as using it? And I think not. Um, yeah. Now, let me just clarify before I access. Because uh, I have to move the microphone here. Sorry, I'm not particularly set up. Do, 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 do. So I still get the token, but can't dig for more than one, right? Um, and I believe that's the way it works, because it's not, uh, I'm not using, it's a compulsory thing, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Like, it getting the token is a compulsory, uh, I can't remember the name of the word, but, uh, action effectively, and I'm only going to get C1 card this time anyway. Which is fine. I'll see a spider web. Well, that's probably going to go on R&D in a minute. But then let's draw. Now this is becoming less and less scorch protection as time goes on. Uh, draw. Gain credit. And turn. Now I'm not going to use inject. Inject's a great housekeeping for her here. Uh, because there's still two mediums in there. And... Getting them backs a and oh, so he's put the spider web there. Well, that's okay. Ish. Actually, no, it's fine. I can get into that remote. I can um, run here, uh, knife that. I can always be running that, and then e3 the rest, and then I can spend my last click for that and to go through. So let's start turn. Let me run. What is when to go? Got two spoons, but I think they're both gone, right? One, two, okay. And deja vu's are gone, one, two, so there's still one left. Interesting. Um I really don't think he can keep me out. How many points am I on? Five agenda points. Um Okay, let's run R and D. I'll just build up the tokens until it's more important. And I'll let him fire that again. Now if you've on Genteki, you don't know how to use Medium, uh, you can click the on Medium to choose less than the maximum amount, which is what I will do. Yep, uh, that's fine. Um, I'll continue. Uh, but I've never actually had to do it, so I hope I don't balls it up. Continue, and then if I successful run, hmm, how did I choose to only access one? Hmm, right, it balls that up. Um, yeah, I'm sure you click successful run, then you click medium for less. When do I click medium for the choose number? Is it before successful run? Okay. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a a pain in the coupon. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to run it next time. Anyway, still see the one. Um, uh, 
Immolation scripts. Now, that is a nice card. Oh, hang those influence. Okay, he's uh, Wayland. Hmm. So he spent all on his ice. That's not a bad shout for Wayland, really. The ice is pretty terrible. Um, two. Uh, how am I going to pull this one out of the bag? <laughs> um, what am I going to do with these two clicks? Nothing is the answer. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to knife on server one. I'm going to get rid of this before. Uh, so you probably raise this. Yeah, and which I'll quit. So and one, two. Hopefully the game will catch up. Um, and I'm just going to jack out. Don't want to go any further. And I'll gain a credit. Okay, so that's again just reducing the protection here it means I don't, I don't necessarily quite have the same element of surprise, I suppose. Um, but that's okay. Keeping them poor. He's only got eleven cards left. Uh, I'm going to run on R and D again and try and do it. Um, Um, I don't want to run again and balls it up. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to give myself minus one click. All right, so run. E, but see the same card as last time. Okay, so that kind of fixes that, but next time I'm also going to want to run R&D. Um... And I also want the medium token, which I've probably won, but I don't know. It's annoying. There, there's a few foibles with uh, Jinteki. Um, I'll cope, I suppose. So let's do that, and then let me... Is there anything in here I can trash? There's no other assassins. There's no other... There's just no other anythings. Emulation script not doing me any good. Let me run on... I wonder what that could be. I don't have the clicks to break it if it's something bad. I do have money. Um, I'll tell you what, the, none of these are doing me any good. So let me gain credit. Gain credit. And Ben, I've had worse. Um, with only four cards left. He could still kill me. I might just have to wait this out. I might just have to run archives and click for credits until the end of days. Ah. Uh, you know what I maybe should have done was not bother with. Uh, well, he's still going to. He's going to be hard pressed to win in time. I only need two points. I'm going into R and D. Feck it. Right, R and D. Always be running. This time I should see four cards, but that's my own balls up, so I'm not going to worry about it. Always a risk that next card if I can't bust it. It's an issue. Ah, see, look, there you go. Click medium to choose fewer than all. So it must be before uh, access. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. And all I'm going to do is steal that, and that's the game. Um, I'll take one tag because I don't care. Uh, GG. Uh, and then access C source. So his money must be spent on. His influence money. His influence must be spent on Heimdall. Now. Importing a barrier into Wayland seems counterintuitive. Heimdall is certainly a good piece of ice, but not that good. Um, Wayland's got tons of bits of ice and uh, tons of barriers, but still doesn't explain where all these influences. He's got two, two in data even. He's got two in Heimdall. That's four. He's got two sea sources. That's eight. What is his remaining seven influence on? Uh, he's probably got a second data raven, so let's say we've got just fishing for five now. A mid seasons, that's three. And he doesn't seem to have any Jacksons either. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that was uh, that game. It was pretty lengthy. I'm going to stop this one now, uh, and then I'll record a second one. And if it's any good, I will upload that uh, as well. Uh, thanks for watching, this has been Facecheck, and until next time, uh, jacking out.